Hey friends, happy new year. Happy, happy new year. 2023. Wow. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I can't. I'm shocked by it. I'm going to give it just a minute, see if people hop on. Um, this is totally random, but, 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 um, today's church sermon, um, this isn't a lot of churchy stuff, but like today's church sermon I thought was some of the things that my pastor talked about is perfect to bring to you guys today. So, um, that's why I wanted to hop on here and also say happy new year. Um, haven't been live in a minute. Oh, hey girl. Hey sis. I just texted you. Um, so I wanted to pop on and kick off the new year with um, a live. Hope you all don't mind. Um, and then kind of bring to you what my pastor says, uh, what my pastor said today as kind of just like a message of encouragement. I think that this will be super encouraging um, if it's, I don't know if it's received well, I guess. But like if you're in a position where you're looking at the new year and you have a ton of goals and things that maybe you're wanting to do. Um, I think this is a really great message. So hi Mia. Hi guys. Happy new year. Um, so yeah, today's message at church was this idea of starting small, but thinking big. And my pastor talked about this story, um, about when he, uh, climbed the Himalayan mountains and how, um, you know, all of us, whatever we're doing, hey, Brittany, um, whatever we're doing, he, you know, he said, when I'm looking at this, this mountain and all these trails we have to take and all this different stuff, I'm looking at it and I'm going, okay, if I take really big steps, I can get there faster. I can achieve more. Right. And he's like, has anybody ever looked at a, a staircase and thought, okay, I'm a, I'm a, take two stairs at a time, right? So I can get to the top faster. Um, we, we do that, right? And I feel like, especially in the beginning of a new year, right? Day one, week one, we're looking at our goals and we're going, okay, how do I take really big steps in the beginning to try to accomplish this? Um, and it's that idea of taking on too much and then burning ourselves out. And he said that's what happened when he was doing his trek up the Himalayan mountains was that he started taking big, big steps. And their guide was like, you're going to burn yourself out. You're going to slow yourself down and you're not, you're never going to get there by doing it that way, by taking these big gigantic steps. Right. Um, and so his message kind of revolved around that. Um, and then obviously there's like scripture involved and all that, but, um, the message that I wanted to bring to you was kind of focused on that. So, Hey everyone, thank you so much for hopping on with me. Hi Michelle, hi Julie, hi Melissa. Um, I just wanted to acknowledge all of you and say Happy New Year. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, 2023 is going to be whatever we make it, right? Like I can't say whether it's going to be great or it's going to be bad or it's going to be weird. Like I have no idea. It's day one. Um, but I hope, I hope that all of you are taking some time to just kind of figure out what you want this year to look like, what you're in control of, um, what you're going to do to make things happen, what you're not going to do anymore, like all of that stuff. Um, you know, all, obviously it doesn't have to be all figured out today um, or this week even, you know, like there's a lot of pressure um, to like have all these big resolutions and stuff like that. And I don't do resolutions, you guys. I do a word that I pray about and I do a, and I do some goals that I would like to try to work towards or achieve by the end of the year. Um, but resolutions to me are tied to failure for me. <laughs> um, so uh, I don't do resolutions, but I do have goals this year, both personally and business wise. And so um, I love the message that my pastor brought today regarding um, our goals and, and who we want to be and showing up and what that looks like. And so, like I said, he was talking about taking these big steps towards whatever, whatever we're looking at. Um, but then ultimately, when we take on too much, when we try to leap and bound our ways to our to our destination, 
we often find ourselves being so burnt out and probably not even getting there. But if we do get there, we get there and we're exhausted and we can't even enjoy it, right? And that's that's not what we want for you and your business this year um, or any year for that matter. And so I thought that this message about starting small, but with the big goal in mind um, was a good one to just kind of encourage you guys with because no matter what your goal is this year with Sensi or personally or um, you know maybe other business ventures whatever whatever you've got going on is totally totally okay um, but I, I did want to kind of just put this nugget in there so um, so in turn what my pastor ended up learning on that trek on the Himalayan mountains was his guide said you need to take small consistent steps right so make each step small and then keep doing it um and it's going to help you go the long run um because you're not burning yourself out and i loved it because he also talked about rest which i'll get to um uh but one of the things that he said that really hit home for me um, and that I really wanted to share with you guys, um, he said, it's real hard to get anywhere in your journey if you keep starting over. I'm going to say that again. It's real hard to get anywhere in your journey if you keep starting over. Okay, so today is day one, obviously, of a brand new year. And for some of us, we're looking at starting over. We're looking at starting our business over. We're looking at starting some things over in our life. Maybe we're starting over on a diet or a new plan of action or, you know, whatever. And, and that's okay. That's kind of like what New Year's um, kind of breeds is this attitude of like, new year, new me. But, but the thing is, is that it's a new year, but same you with different goals, right? Um, but realistically, whatever goals you set in front of you today or this week or whatever for the year, it's never going to happen if you get two months down the road and burn out or fall out or quit and then you decide you want to come back and start over. You're going to have to start over and try to get to your journey again. And if you keep doing that, if you keep putting out a goal and then stopping or quitting or whatever, for whatever reason, you're never going to get to your goal, right? You're never going to get anywhere by starting over again and again and again and again, right? Yes, sometimes it takes us starting over, you know, a, a time, a two, three, four, maybe sometimes multiple times it takes us starting over. But the key is, is to continue taking those small consistent steps towards whatever that goal is and not giving up. And so maybe your problem is, is that you took on the Sensi business and you were trying to take two, three, four steps at a time and you burnt yourself out, right? And that's, um, that, that is very real for a lot of people. And I think we saw that this year, this last year, um, with people, running and gunning and they burn themselves out. And that's, that is um, not what we want for you in your business. And so this idea of taking on this year in bite-sized pieces um, and starting small is what I want to encourage you guys with because it is, um, it is so important that we don't make it a habit to stop our business and start over and stop our business and start over because you're never going to get to where you want to be if you do that, if you continually do that. The key is in those small, consistent steps, okay? Um, but one of the key things that he even said in here and he said when he was doing this trek was um, he had to rest, and, uh, you know, the, the guide made certain points in the journey where when they were staying consistent, there was a point of rest. And so you can't stay consistent if you don't rest. You can't keep momentum building if you don't rest. And so making sure that as you're looking over your year this year, as you're looking at the months ahead and what you want to do, you know, if, if I'm going to, um, you know, do things personally or do things business-wise or whatever, I, I'm not only going to be scheduling in the activities that I need to achieve those things, but I'm also going to be scheduling in rest. And I'm going to be doing that 
today. I'm going to be doing that this week. I'm not going to wait until I'm nearing the end of my rope to figure out where I can squeeze in rest, right? I'm going to um, make sure that I am staying consistent and I am taking steps towards my goal, small, consistent steps towards my goal. Um, and then I'm getting to rest because uh, burnout, we know, is the result of taking on too much too fast and not ensuring that we are resting ourselves mentally, physically, emotionally. We need that, okay? Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of other things here, but it's mostly scripture. Um, and so, which I love and I'm willing to share with anybody who wants to hear it, but, but what hit me today, which I thought was perfect for just a message of encouragement for you guys as you take on new goals with your Sensi business, as you take on new goals personally, the idea of looking at something on a calendar and um, you know, wanting it to come to fruition by the end of this year is really great. But the reality of it is, is you don't have to cut corners and take leaps and bounds to get there, but you can slow your pace and say, okay, I want to, um, I want to work out every day. Um, but, but I, but I haven't worked out in so long. So today I'm only going to commit to working out for five minutes right? Five minutes of working out, five minutes of moving your body is better than nothing. And maybe tomorrow you add a minute and you say, okay, then after that, I'm going to work out for six minutes, right? And the consistency, the consistency comes in doing that every day. It's not that you're doing the same thing every day. It's not that you're working out for five minutes every day. It's that you're continually doing the actions to get to your goal, right? Um, and so adding a minute, small steps that that's that's what you have to do so in your business if you're like where do I even start I want to you know make a thousand dollar paycheck where's the gap okay what do I need to do maybe following up is your hardship right and so you say okay today I'm gonna follow up with one person right and then tomorrow I'm gonna follow up with two people okay and then you know next week on on Sunday I'm gonna follow up with three people right? And staying consistent and figuring out where in your schedule, where in your life, where in the busyness of what you have going on, do these things fit in? And that's part of planning your goals. Truly, that's part of planning your goals is knowing where you can maximize your time with what you want to accomplish, fitting in those habit-forming activities that will get you to where you want to go and taking it on in smaller forms and staying consistent at it. Because if you take on too much, if you take out those big chunks, it's really hard to stay consistent when you're fighting to not feel overwhelmed or you're fighting to not feel stressed. If you say, I'm going to, I'm going to follow up for 30 minutes today, but then you feel overwhelmed by five minutes in by it, you're not going to stay consistent at that. If you say, I'm going to work out for an hour, but you haven't worked out in a year, you're going to be so tired and so unhappy 10 minutes in, right? You can't do that to yourself. It's the baby steps and it's doing it consistently. Okay, so this year, I just want you to keep this in the forefront of your mind, whether me or Alex remind you of this may you, even if your leader never watches this your accountability partner never watches this i want you to just remember that overall this is the message okay no matter what since he throws at you this year no matter what me and alex bring to the table no matter what's going on just know that whatever we're asking you to do we're not asking you to take three steps at a time we're asking you to do baby steps and do it consistently right do it, do it consistently and do it well and keep moving, keep moving. And like Ali said, you can build on it. That's, that's the great thing is once you do it consistently for a little while, then you can start to build on it. And then all of a sudden you're looking at a business that has grown leaps and bounds over 365 days. Okay. And it will, if you take small, consistent action in your business and you have an end goal in mind and you've got an action plan and you do that every day this year, your business is going to look so unrecognizable by January 1st, 2024, it will blow your mind. And I hope that for you. I want that for you. 
okay? Little baby steps. That's all you have to do. Okay, whatever that looks like. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. Sharice, I saw that you wanted um, to see the scripture and I will send that to you. I did post it on my Instagram story. My mess, my I always post my sermon notes on my Instagram story if anybody's ever interested um, on Sunday. And so I will um, send that to you, Sharice. But I just wanted to share that with you guys today and encourage you that it being a brand new year, um, you know, I, I don't like the new year, new me. I like the new year, better me, new year, gonna do something different, you know, like new goals. Um, cause I'm still me, right? I'm just trying to get better. I'm just trying to better myself, better my business, better my personal goals, better my family, that kind of thing. Okay. So I love you all. Happy new year. Happy 2023. I can't wait to see what amazing things we as a team accomplish you guys individually, what you guys do this year. It, I, I'm just like literally so excited today feels like my Christmas. Right. Um, and so I just am pumped. We've got some really great things coming um, for you as, as leaders. And I can't wait to bring that to you, but this is just encouragement for you guys to, um, give yourself permission to take baby steps and to rest and rest well. Love you all. Bye.